Hi, I'm Joe Zoper. I'm a car builder and I'm gonna show you how to mount a tire on a beadlock wheel. We're gonna take some time to show you how to install a tire on Race Star's single bead lock wheel. Now, whenever you order these wheels and you order it polished, you're gonna get it with a black ring. If you order the wheel black, you're gonna get it with a polished ring. If you wanna switch that around, make sure you notify your supplier before ordering. After you open the box, you're gonna take your ring, set it off to the side, then you're gonna notice that you have a set of hardware that's gonna go for the bead lock. Now, this set of hardware is actually three piece. We'll get to that here in a minute. We'll show you exactly how this works. It's a pretty cool setup. Now what you want to do is you're going to take the tire and you want to make sure you put a little lube around the bead. This is a fairly simple deal. You're going to lay it down. Now normally you might need a tire spoon, you know, to help it along. And, but sometimes when you got enough lube and the tire's nice and soft, throw it out in the sun maybe, it'll just pop right on. So let's see what we got. just like so. Once you got the tire on, make sure it is even around the beadlock ring and then take your locking ring, set it on, line up the holes. You remember that hardware that we were talking about? Well, listen, this is a pretty nice setup. This has dual spherical washers. Now what this does is it helps to line up the locking ring onto the rim and also gives you a little wiggle room. Now, you make sure that it's very important that you use a little anti-seize on these threads because if you don't, you know, then it's gonna wanna, you know, knurl up the threads. It doesn't take much. It's a little bit on there. And one at a time, you're gonna put these in and you're gonna line them up and snug them down. Now we're gonna go ahead and get all these bolts in here so we can torque it down. And when we hit that point, what is torque gonna be? 22 foot pounds. It's not as much as you think. I highly recommend you don't grab a little impact and just start buzzing these. It's really good to do these by hand and make sure everything is torqued equally. After you get all the bolts in, you wanna make sure you get them started with your fingers so you don't cross thread nothing. It's very important that you're gonna grab a ratchet and you're gonna tighten these up in a crisscross pattern. And then once you get it all snug down, you're gonna to wanna to go back with your torque wrench and you're gonna to torque it to 22 foot pounds. Make sure that when you clamp this down that the ring is touching the rim. That way it has a good bite on the bead of the tire to keep the tire from spinning onto the wheel. 